is Taha Rami. I'm an electrical application specialist at CAD Microsolutions, and today I'll be presenting a short demo and tutorial on multi-sheet design. So what is multi-sheet design, and what is the difference between a flat design and a multi-sheet design? A flat design refers to schematic sheets in a project that are low level and contain only components, as the one we see in front of us. While a multi-sheet design will contain schematic sheets that will have reference to other schematic sheets within themselves, like this one. As we can see, these green blocks, which we like to call sheet symbols, are referencing other schematic sheets in the project. The one I just clicked on is referencing the power regulation schematic document, while this one is referencing the, M the MCU schematic document. In a multi sheet design, the project is arranged in a hierarchical structure with a single top sheet as we like to call it, or a single master schematic sheet. A top sheet will have reference to low level sheets below it, whether it's directly or indirectly. And sheets below it may be of a low level type, or may also reference sheets that are below that. In our case, we have a series of low level sheets that are referenced by the single master top sheet. So what are the benefits of using a multi-sheet design? Well, for one, repeatability. If you happen to have a specific circuit that is repeated multiple times in your PCB, using a flat design, you would have to repeat or have repeated copies of your schematic sheet in that project. While in a multi-sheet design, we could simply create repeated sheet symbols on a single schematic document. Another advantage would be reduced project size as it will allow a designer to reduce the size and complexity of a schematic sheet into multiple sheet symbols and this will improve the organization as well as the clarity of the project and perhaps this will help with the project review. Now what I have open here is a microcontroller project with several modules being referenced by sheet symbols. All these sheet symbols are referencing schematic documents in the project over here. I also created an LED circuit that I would like to have referenced in the top sheet as a sheet symbol. But I would like to have eight copies of these of this LED circuit. And when we go to the MCU schematic document, I can see that I reserved eight GPIO pins for LED control. Each one will go to each one of these circuits. Now please note the format and the style that I've that I've used here to create this uh, bus to port assembly or bus to port connection, as well as the net name convention style. The way we can add a sheet symbol for the LED circuit is very simple. We can simply right click, go to sheet actions, create sheet symbol from sheet or HDL, and then select LED module. Or we can simply go to design, Create sheet symbol from sheet, and then again select LED module. As you can see, the port attached to the sheet symbol also comes in and is synced with the sheet symbol. There is one thing missing, however, and that is the port for the MCU, the LED control port. As we can see over here, we have the port LED control, which is connected to a bus. But we can't see the port entry into this sheet symbol. However, we can easily sync that by going to Design, Synchronize, Sheet Entries and Ports. And quickly we realize that there is an unmatched port, add sheet entries, and now I can choose where I want to position this sheet entry on the sheet symbol. Like I said, I would like to have eight repeated copies of the LED module circuit. And to do this, I'll double click on the properties of the sheet symbol. In the designator field, I will add the repeat function. Repeat bracket the name of the sheet symbol 
and then the first instance value, 1, and the last instance value, which is 8. So in this case, I would like to have the sheet symbols uh, numbered from 1 to 8. Okay, and right away we can see that Altium Designer created uh, multiple copies, a symbol with multiple copies of this, uh, of, of this schematic. It's important to note that the port entry right now is the same in all, in all of the sheet symbols. It is not unique or independent. If I wanted a unique and independent sh uh, sheet entry for each, uh, for each sheet symbol, then I would also need to use the repeat function for the port entry. All right. Now we know that on the MCU side, the LED control port entry is outputted through a bus of connections. And so to make a connection between the MCU sheet symbol and the LED module sheet symbol, we first need to create a bus. When we go to the LED module schematic, however, we know that there is only a single wire connection going to each schematic sheet. And so it only makes sense to connect a wire, a wire strand, outputting a wire strand from the bus into each sheet symbol. Now that we have the wire connections, we need to add the net names. Remember that for a bus, we need to have the square bracket format, the first instance number, dot, dot, and the last instance. Now I need to have a unique strand entering every unique LED module, module bus entry. And to do this, I'll edit the net name of the bus on that strand. And we'll just make it the base name of the bus uh, net name. Now a unique strand will enter every single sheet entry from LED control 1 all the way to LED control 8. If I was to specify LED control 1 as the net name for this wire strand, then the first bus strand will enter every single sheet entry. And that's not what we wanted. All right, looks like our wiring is all complete now. It's important to note that every sheet symbol has only one channel connected to it in this top sheet, except the LED module sheet symbol. It has eight channels. And we can view our channels by going to Project, View Channels. From this window, we can see every channel that we have, as well as the components and their designator values. So we can see for the LED module, we have eight channels and their unique designator values for each component. This is very important when you're reviewing your schematic and ready to move on into importing it into the PCB document. Rooms is another great feature to use side by side with the multi sheet design. To edit the properties of rooms, we can go to Project, Project Options. From here, we can go to Class Generation, and we can enable rooms by checking each one of these boxes for each schematic sheet. If we go to the Multi-Channel tab, we can even edit the sh uh, we can even edit the room names. In our case, we'd like to have a flat numeric with names, naming style. We can even change the component naming uh, designator style. It's time to import our schematic details into our PCB document. As you can see, there are already a number of rooms already placed in here. The room for the memory block, the MCU block, etc. etc. Rooms allow us to organize our components better and to view them clearly. 
They also allow for better placement as I can move rooms and they will carry their associated components along with them. There is one room missing however and that is related to the LED module. So I'll go to design, import changes, I'll execute the changes and right away we see all of the LED module circuits imported into our PCB document. You can see clearly the name that each room carries LED module 1, module 2, module 3 and you can also see that every module has a unique connection to the MCU GPI opens as we wanted all along. Now it's time for tips and tricks. It's important to remember that for hierarchical designs, a project can only contain one top sheet. All other source documents must be referenced by sheet symbols. Another great feature to use with multi-sheet designs is renaming sheet symbols. Let's say you would like to change your schematic sheet name and your designated uh, sheet symbol. We can easily do this by going to Design, Rename Child Sheet, click on the sheet symbol they would like to rename, and then specify a different name. The feature will automatically change the sheet symbol name as well as the schematic document name. And then all that is left to do is recompile. All right, well, this concludes uh, my demo and presentation, and I hope you uh, enjoyed it and benefited from it. Thank you.